All right, everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to swap the RAM out of the Lenovo LOQ gaming laptop. This particular one right here is the AMD version. I come to the RTX 4050 AMD Ryzen 7 series chip. This one comes with two slots. They're not soldered in, so you can swap it out up to 32 GBs of RAM, or 16 on each side. And um, in this video, that's going to need re replace the one inside with this one right here. The G-Skill Ripjaw DDR5 RAM. All right, so it's very simple. It comes with approximately 13 screws, four on the bottom, two on each side, and two on the top that cover this little plastic thing right here. And there's additional three screws that you're gonna to have to screw off to get this plate off. So in total, it's gonna be 13 screws. And the ID screwdriver you need is one with a 1.5 by 25 millimeters. At least 1.5, so you could down screw it out easy. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and screw this bad boy down. Now I've got all the screws off, so I'm going to have to take this black piece off to get to the remaining three screws so I can get this back plate off. So you're just going to have to go to the side with a nice little pull just like that. And you can see right here on the top, you've got the three screws. One right here in the corner, one right here in the middle, another one in the corner. So let's go ahead and remove these three screws so we can get this back plate off. And it's just a simple pull. If you have a guitar pick, that's fine. You can go ahead and go, go along the sides with a guitar pick to prize it up. Or you could just simply hold it from the top and just pull from the sides. It's very simple. You, you don't have to worry about any um, RGB cables or none of that. There's no cable that's attached to it that will break. So it's very simple. And like I said again, you can, if you want to, you can, if you want to use a guitar pick, but you don't have to. That's what I'll show you how very simple it is. I'm just going to screw in here. All right. And I just want to show you something real quick. With this laptop, this is how I separate it. I got these two screws right here for the left side, these two for the right, these two for the black piece, and those three for the remaining part of the back plate. And the four screws right here on this laptop, they are very small. So the only other screws, the, every other screw is other, other than the front right here. The front ones right here is very small. The remaining screws on the sides are, are the same size. So I, me, I personally, I just like to keep it like this, separated. All right, next thing, is, next thing you're gonna have to make sure that you disconnect the battery from the laptop. So this is the battery cable right here. So all you gotta do, just go, you just, you just got, you got, a little, you got a little clip on the side. So all you gotta do is slightly push it to take it off, but, as a reminder, make sure that the, your PC is powered off completely first. Do not attempt to change the RAM if you got the PC on. Make sure that it's completely off. So we're gonna slide this power cable off and it's very, very simple. As you can see right here, it's very simple. And some people don't, but for precaution reason, because there's still some juice inside the capacitor, 
What you want to do, you want to make sure that you drain the whatever remaining power that's inside the capacitor of the laptop. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip it over like this, very simple. And you're going to hold on to the power button for at least for a few seconds. It could be like 15, 20 seconds. You want to do that and drain every remaining power that may be held back in the capacitor. So hold on to it for a few seconds. Two seconds later. That should be good enough. And you don't want in the process of you changing out something in here. You may have electrical short or you may hit you may you may damage something. You don't want that. So <coughs> excuse me. What I want to show you guys real quick before I remove the RAM. This laptop comes with a DDR, uh, I mean SSD 2242 SSD. That's it right here. 2242. 500 and 512 GB storage. And you got the additional screw right here. So you can put you can swap it if you want with a 2280 SSD of the two terabytes. You can put one right here and this other slot right here. This other slot right here is also used for SSDs. So you can put one S one terabyte SSD right here and another one right here. That's for another video where you're gonna have to clone and do all that, but that's for another video. But anyhow, let me go ahead and remove this cover right here. That's what you gotta do. Once you juice drain the juice out, it just boom. And boom, you see, that's the RAM right there. This is a simple 8 GB RAM, 5600 DDR5. And this right here is a Samsung RAM. This Samsung one right here is just 8 PCI5, no, PC5, whatever that's it right here. But it's a 5600. So you want to make sure that you get the, the same speed that comes with it. This comes with a 5600 MHD. DDR5. There's several out there that's, that have 48, 52. The highest is called 56. So just get the same speed and you won't go wrong. So, what are you going to do right now? I'm just going to slap this bad boy in there. Okay, I slapped it right. It was very simple. All you got to do, just boom, and you're done. And one thing I like about this um, Lenovo, it comes with this um, thermal paste in, thermal paste right here. So you can, um, so you help protect the RAM, which is cool. And what I'm going to do, you, you don't have to do it, but I, I'm going to do it anyhow. You can also put back the original RAM inside the, inside the PC as well. So I could, um, you, could use, you could just use a simple 16 and be done with it. Or you could use a 16 and this one right here to make it 24. It's up to you. But since I got, since I, since I got it, it don't make sense I threw it down. I'm just going to slide, slide it in there. You, you can't do it. And nothing won't happen, all right? And, go and thank goodness for the thermal paste that comes with the laptop. It's going to protect this. You're going to, the, you're going to protect the RAMs. So the slide is down right here. And on the side of this right here, of the case, if I don't know if I can zoom in to show you. So right here, it have a little clip. So you want to make sure that you slide it in between those clips right here so, so it close properly. So it's right there. It's in properly. Good. So now I'm going to screw this up. And turn it on, and that should be the end of the video. Almost forgot. See, I'm an eager beaver. You got to make sure that you connect the battery back on the laptop. I was getting a little bit too excited. So you got to make sure that whenever you're doing anything to a laptop, you got to be very calm, cool, and relaxed. It's not hard. You just, sometimes you may be excited, but you just got to relax. Because you don't want to make a mistake. So let's go ahead and slide it in. Gonna push it all the way till you feel a little click. It's all the way in, it's very secured. So now let me just flip this bad boy over. Okay, so we'll open this bad boy up. So in real time, let's see how, how long it's gonna to take to boot up. So we're gonna hit the power button right about now. A few moments later, almost 20 seconds. That's impressive. That's almost 20 seconds to boot up. That's impressive. So let me go ahead and put in my information real quick. All right, now we're in the front page. So I just want to go into Task Manager. I believe that's what it is. So show you guys that it's there. Task Manager. And let's open up this window. So we're going to go into right here, then into the performance. 
see if we can adjust it so you guys can see better. So you could see right here for, for memory, it's already it's using um five already. So 19.7 subtract it from 5.5, 5 5.6, because it's using so much memory already. So that's 24. Let me go ahead and click it. And you can see right here on the bottom of the screen, it's a fifth speed 5600 MAZ. Slots use two of two, all right? Hardware reserve 4.3, form factor sodium. As you can see right here, things going on. It's doing good, I see catch, it's a catch right here, 3.2 GBs, right? It's all good right there. Everything looking good right here, so far so good. So the memory popping, all right? And um, that's pretty much, I'll show you right here. And this is right here in the corner, if you can see it, 24 GBs. Can you remember, I put 16 in one slot and I used the original, which was eight, bring it to 24. So it's right here, it's registered. And it's pretty, trust me, this laptop, for a budget laptop, once you upgrade the RAM, this thing's a beast. Like going to the Yahoo, it's a breeze, you see that? That thing is fast, man. That's the 5600 for you right there. Even, um, I'm not going to play no game. Everything boots up fast. I'm just going to leave right there. Anyhow, that's how you upgrade the RAM on the Lenovo LOQ gaming laptop. I hope you enjoyed it. So don't forget to subscribe and like to the channel. And there's more videos coming like this. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.